What is going on fellow gamers? Cast Eclipse here. This is No Man's Sky. And uh, with my portable refiner glitch, everyone seems to keep thinking that I don't know of any other glitches and that that one is less efficient. They're right, it is less efficient. There are other glitches though. Um, that one is merely a means to people who are just starting the game who don't have a lot of stuff. Um, and it's probably one of the easiest ones to do where you don't have to disconnect, you don't need multiple people in your game, anything like that. Um, so that's why I created that one. The most efficient one that I'm aware of to date is the one that I'm about to show you using large refiners. You can either do this on a planet or in your freighter if you have a freighter. Um, I'm actually going to do it here on my freighter just because I do have the freighter and it's, uh, it's a lot quicker this way. Um, so as you can see, looking around my freighter, I have one freighter here, or sorry, one uh, large refiner there. I have two at that end of the hall, two at this end of the hall. And if you guys have ever placed down um, large refiners, you'll know that the reason why I haven't placed like this is because you can only place two next to each other in a certain distance. So that is why um, I only have five in here. Technically, I probably could put a six one next to this one over here. And I could probably do some over there in the back. But even with just five, you're going to be creating a lot of stuff in here. So let's go ahead and get right into the glitch. Um, it is very delicate. You can lose items doing this. So follow exactly what I do or you will lose the items. If you do exactly what I do, you will not lose the items. So I just want to make sure that that is very clear. Um, take your time. Watch the video a few times if you have to. Make sure you know exactly what you're doing before you even do this. Because it is possible to completely lose your items. So first things first, let's go around. Let's look at all of the refiners so you guys can see that they're empty. You don't have to do this. This part is just me showing you that the refiners are empty. Showing you there's nothing currently in them which you will see that anyway, but I just want to be very clear on this video as clear as possible because I do know a lot of people struggle with um, just following direction without having a visual. So as you can see, all of the large refiners are empty. So the first thing I like to do is you're going to go in your starship, you're going to make sure that you have an item in your starship, that is the easiest thing, in your starship that you can trade to another player. I'm going to be trading just one salvage data. Just one. Um, it's something they can use. It won't clog up their inventory. More than likely, people in the anomaly have salvage data anyway, because that's why they're going there, is to buy stuff with their salvage data they already have. If you are going to be doing this glitch, I would say be nice and give them something that they can actually use. If you guys have those AI valves itself for like, I think it's like 45 million, then trade those. Um, it'll People will be happy that they got some. They'll be able to switch them out. Um, you can do warp cells, because people use those all the time. You can do starship launch fuel. People use that all the time. Tritium is a big one because people always have tritium on their starship, so they can easily, uh, it, you can easily trade even one of those. Um, just something that's not going to be cluttering up their, their inventory or something that isn't going to be um, a nuisance to have in their inventory. So this is my starship inventory. I just want to show you guys what I have in here, just so you guys know everything that is currently in here, so you guys um, know that I'm not doing any kind of weird behind the scenes thing and you guys can't see anything and then if you look at my exosuit this is everything I have in my exosuit there's my technology tab and there's my cargo tab so the stuff we're going to be focusing on today is the stuff that's down here and I made sure that I had one of each of these on me um, so I have one drop pod coordinate um, you know what let's even do hang on let's go in here and let's grab one of these as well so I can show you that these work too so we have one module here, doesn't matter what type of module you have, we have a drop pod coordinate data, we have a walker brain, I know a lot of people are struggling trying to get these on the, um, on the expedition that's currently going on. I have one glass just because I made glass in one of my previous videos. Uh, we have a cargo bulkhead for the freighter, so make sure that you guys uh, max out your freighter if you want. I have a sentinel flare that is off, I have a sentinel boundary map. I have one sodium and I have one microprocessor. So we're going to be duping everything that's right here. And keep in mind, if you have stacks of stuff, um, we can actually do a stack of stuff. So let's go ahead and use this, uh, the Corvax casing here as well. We have five of those. So we'll get back 10 of these and um, we'll get back just one of everything else. So 
first things first you need to go up to your portable refiners this is step one guys very important step one you're gonna come in here and you're gonna place everything that you want to duplicate into your portable refiner so we had one of these um, this is gonna be a little bit difficult trying to figure out everything I had five of those we had one microprocessor we're gonna go over to our next refiner click on this we had one sodium um, we had one sentinel flare one sentinel boundary map we're gonna come over here to our next one click on this um, we had our one cargo bulkhead our one piece of glass our one walker brain we're going to come over to the last two over here and we're not even going to fill these all the way up so keep in mind the more large refiners you have and the more full they are the better this is going to work you guys can duplicate anything and everything um, and our one drop pod coordinate data so technically I have two more spots in here and I have three more in here that I could fill stuff up with so um, make sure that you guys are using this to your full potential and make sure you guys are filling up all of them so from here um, let's look at our exit suit we did take everything out of here as you can see so step two, very important step, step two. You're gonna come down to any one of your ships that you have down in your loading bay or in your docking bay, which this one is my main ship here. You're gonna jump in and jump out. And if you look down on the bottom right, it'll show that it's saving the little circle that's down there, that one right there. So it did save. Um, as you can see, it says re restore point saved. And if we hit our options button, you can see the reload autosave is today's date at 4:25, 7:50 in the morning. So, if we come back up to our refiners here, which is step three. Step two is just saving. You just jump in and out of your ship. You don't have to look at the save, but if you want, make sure it's there. Go ahead and make sure you do that. Step three, you're going to come back up to refiners and you're going to pull everything out that you just had in there. And I'm just going to hit X on it, and then I'm going to hit Triangle, which is automatically going to place it here into the exosuit. You don't have to do it this way, but you can just hit X on it, just as long as you take it out of the refiner. So if we hit X and then Triangle, that goes into our exosuit. And I will show you guys all the stuff back in the exosuit as well. So we're going to click on this. X, Triangle, X, Triangle, X, Triangle. Click on this one. X, Triangle, X, Triangle, X, Triangle not in there our last one that's over here x triangle x triangle x triangle and that is it so once you have all of that stuff out of there we're going to do what's called a flyby in the anomaly this is um pretty common but um for those of you that don't know um i will explain it as we're going through it um none of this is time sensitive i could take as long as i want doing all of that stuff um, I do want to point out though that I am on PS5 as far as I know this still does work on PC and Xbox though just want to point that out so once you jump back in this ship do not jump out of your ship that is very important as well do not jump out of your ship once you jump back into your ship it does not have to be the same ship that you did the save in if you wanted to you could jump into one of your other ships I could jump in that one over there and do it with that one just jump into one of your ships and I'm going to show you guys how to do this flyby. We're going to take off. And you're going to want to call the anomaly, which I have already done. So it should be somewhere in the area, which I don't even see it now. Oh, it's because um, when I reloaded the autosave. So it's already gone. So we're going to fly out a little bit, just away from the freighter. We're going to call in the anomaly. So there's our anomaly. We're going to fly into the anomaly. And once you start going in... You're going to go into your inventory menu and it's automatically going to pull up your starship inventory which is right here this is the part where you're going to want to uh, switch out this salvage data so you're going to hit triangle on it and you're going to look for someone down here that you can switch with so once one of these turn gray you're going to hit x on it it'll tell you here in the center that it is traded you're going to back out of there you're going to hit your options button and you're going to reload your autosave that one you have to do at least semi fast as you guys can see, I am just reloading the autosave. What it's going to do is it's going to put us back on the freighter where we just were right when we did the save after jumping out of our ship. So this is where we are. We are back at our autosave. Now, if you look in your inventory, 
you can see that all the stuff that you pulled out of your um, your large refiners is back in your inventory. Which I should have shown you guys this beforehand. I apologize for not doing that. This is everything that we had, including our drop pod coordinate. Let's oh, and our sodium. Let's go ahead and fill that one in though, so that you guys don't think I'm doing anything sneaky. Um, you guys can go back and look at everything I had in the inventory. Um, but this is all the stuff that we duplicated here. So now we should have two of each of these. We should have ten of these Corvax casing and two of everything else. So the way that this works is if we come back up to our large refiners, everything is going to be in our large refiners as well as already in our inventory. So we're going to come up here. We're going to run to the left first. It doesn't matter which one you go to first. But we're going to run to the left first. We're going to open this up. And as you can see, here are the items. So we're going to throw that in our inventory, throw that in our inventory. And I'm just hitting X and square on all these again. Or sorry, X and triangle. You do not have to do it that way. You can hit X on it and then you can throw it into your uh, your exosuit. It doesn't matter as long as you're looting your um, your inventory. Or the, the inventory for the... Uh, for the large refiner back out of there and then we only had the one or two in the left one here just the one so nothing else in there and as you can see there's nothing else in there so now I'm gonna hit the touchpad again and we're gonna look at our inventory here and as you can see we have two sodium now we have two of the drop pod coordinate data two walker brains two things of glass we have um, the cargo two cargo bulkheads two micro processors now here it says we only have five corvax casing but as you can see they don't stack more than five at least in this inventory so there's our other five so that makes ten same thing with the module our other one appeared up here and same thing with this flare over here and then we have these uh two sentinel boundary maps so like i said you can definitely stack as many as you can get um now with this one here um i think it goes up to 15 so you can do 15 of these at a time um let me see if i can show you guys something that's pretty close to being a max stack uh actually this right here is storm crystals which i completely screwed that up all right so we have two of these um let's go ahead and move everything else up here And you guys are probably wondering why would you want to duplicate uh, multiple Corvax casings or even the uh, the modules here that we did. The modules are mainly for so that you guys can go and you can sell them repeatedly and just get um, nanites for them. So technically you guys can get unlimited nanites. You guys can um, get unlimited reputation by duping these Corvax casings here. Because every time you give one to a um, an NPC they will give you standing for that so I mean there's tons of stuff that you guys can do with this stuff uh, let's see what else we have that we can duplicate um, navigation data that's actually not a bad one but it's not maxed out so we're not going to do it uh, we can do this 9999 tritium um, let's see we can do some warp cells here uh, what else do we have anything on the freighter we want to duplicate we can do more salvage data, but I'm not, I don't need any more salvage data. We can do factory overrides. I can show you guys that. We only have one. It's not maxed out, but I can definitely show you still. Um, more navigational data. Uh, hmm. uh, for those of you that like to do your indium farms, your activated indium and your chlorine and all that stuff, I can show you guys activated indium. I'm just showing you guys different things to show you that it does work. Um, so if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, definitely uh, definitely let me know and I can see what I can do. So once again, we're going to go through the exact same thing. You don't have to worry about uh, um, doing anything else. We reloaded our auto save, but just to be on the safe side, we're actually going to save it twice this time. So we're going to come down here, we're going to jump in and out of our ship real quick just to make sure that all the stuff we just duped is saved now. So that we can keep that two of everything that we just created. As you can see it says re restore point save. So we're going to come back up here and all the stuff we're going to dupe again like I said is back in our inventory. 
so we're going to come over to our refiners here we don't have this much or too much stuff to do this time we're just going to come here and we're going to try to figure out what we had down there that we were going to duplicate again um we were going to do some activated indium we have 82 there we were going to do warp cells which is a full stack we are going to do tritium which is a full stack come over to this next one we are doing some storm crystals we're going to do both stacks of those they do sell for a decent amount um, we can do this factory override thing here come over to these ones here we're not even going to go to the one back there just because we don't have that much stuff that we're going to be duping this time let's see what else we needed uh, it looks like that was it because we had everything down here at the bottom so um, there we go we're just going to do uh, the stuff that's in these two right here so as you can see we have that stuff in there and that stuff in there and then step two like I said so step one is putting them in there step two you're going to want to come down here you're going to want to create another auto save so there is your auto save restore point saved we're going to come back up to the top and see as you can see this one is a little bit more time consuming but like i said you can do bigger stacks with this stuff because uh in a large refiner you can put tons of stuff in there and you can also do three different things at one time so the more large refiners you have the more it's going to work so we are going to hit x on that hit triangle x triangle x triangle click on this one x triangle x triangle x triangle and that was it so now we don't need to create another save so once you get in your ship this time make sure that you do not jump out you do not want to jump out of your ship this time so before we even get into our ship we're going to go into our starship we're going to separate all of these again just so we have that one item that we can trade to someone you're going to jump in here and if you want um, the salvage data that I'm trading you can actually duplicate those so that you can keep trading those as well so that you don't have to um, figure out something to do or something to uh, to trade every time so let's call in the anomaly again we're gonna fly right in this bad boy As soon as we start going in we're gonna hit our touchpad and we are going to bring up the starship thing which it's already on there we're gonna hit triangle on this for quick transfer and we're gonna look for someone down here that their name is going to be gray when it turns gray that means you can trade with them just like that hit x on it make sure that it does that you're going to hit circle your options button and you're going to reload your autosave as you can see it is reloading the autosave again and i'm trying to talk through this whole thing so that you guys don't think oh he cut the video or he did this he did that i'm just trying to make it so that you guys can see that i'm not cutting anything out and that it is actually um staying within uh within the same video um, so if you hit your touchpad again, we're going to go look at our exosuit. You can see all the stuff here that we duplicated. So this is the factory uh, override. There's your storm crystals. There's your tritium. There's your warp cell. And there is your activated indium. And if we come back up here, they should be back up in our large refiner. So we're going to run through here, come back up to the top here. And we did only these two this time. So we're going to hold square on these. And there you can see we have another 82 uh, activated indium. We have another 10 warp cells and full stack of tritium. So now we're going to have 9,999 times 2. Come over to this one. You can see we have our five storm crystals there, five more there. So we should have four stacks of five now. And then um, we have our factory override unit. We're going to exit out of there. You're going to look back in your inventory and you can see everything that duplicated here. So there is our four stacks of storm crystals. You can see we have two right there. Two factory override things. We have our two stacks of uh, tritium here. We have our two stacks of 10 warp cells. And now we have 164 activated indium because we only had 82. Now the last and final step, I know I did that twice in a row, but the last and final step, I do want to make sure that you guys understand this. Once you pull it out of that large refiner, you want to jump in and out of your ship again before placing the next thing that you want to dupe in there. The reason for that is because you, you like, 
you want to save the stuff that you just duped. So now that I have these four stacks, when I jump in and then I jump back out, that's creating another save saving that I have those four stacks. I have two stacks of that, two of that, um, the 164 there, the two factory overrides. So all that stuff is saved. Now you can go back up here and start from scratch again. Start throwing whatever you want to duplicate again back into that portable refiner up here. Or back into the large refiner. My apologies. And you'll go back up here. Throw whatever you want in there again and start all over again. So if you guys have any problems doing this glitch, if you guys are struggling with it a bit, let me know. I can definitely help you guys out. Um, just... Uh, Make sure that you guys are following this to a T. Um, if you're not following it to a T, like I said, you can lose items. One of the things that uh, that seems to stump people is the whole saving process. You have to make sure you save it twice. Once at the very end, you're going to jump in and out of your ship at the very end after you've done all the steps and everything's duplicated. Doing that one is what will save the duplication. If you don't do that, that is one way to lose your duplicated items. If you want... if not if you want to. If you don't want to lose any of your items, if you don't want to lose any of your items, you have to make sure that you guys place it into the uh, into the um, refiners up here. Make sure you place it in the refiner. Go down and save it. Come back up and pull it out. If you do not do that save, it will not be back in your inventory and it will not be in here. It will automatically delete it from your thing. So if you guys don't want to lose anything and you want to make sure you're doing it right the first time, my suggestion would be do it with something you at least have two of. Like if you have two factory overrides and you want to make sure you're doing it right, even this is delicate with two of them. But if you have two of them and you want to make sure you're doing it right, hit X on that, hit square, and separate those. Only try duping one the first time, make sure the dupe works, and then do the full stack. That way you guys aren't missing out on something. Um, if you're if you're worried about losing uh, modules, don't do the modules because they don't stack. Do it with uh, grab some some silicate powder. Do it with a couple different stacks of silicate powder. Do one one there. Do like I don't know 55 there and try duping the one in one uh, item or in one slot. So come over here, open up your large refiner. You're gonna click this. You're going to do the one here and the 55 there. Try duping both of those first just because that's only 1 and 55. So you're only wasting 56 and you still have another 3,510 if you're where I'm at. Um, just make sure that you have multiple of whatever item you're trying to do first. That way you're making sure that you're doing the dupe right and you're not losing out on any of your items. You're not... Uh, missing a step or something like that once you get the dupe down once you think you have it perfect then go and do those delicate items like the modules or the factory overrides or any um, drop pod coordinate data you have but this does work for anything in the game um, I have a lot of people asking does it work with this item does it work with that item it works for literally any item in the game um, anything at all that you guys can throw into that refiner it will work with so if you guys have any questions or anything Please let me know down in the comment section. I will come into your game if I have to, and I will help you guys do it. Um, that part might be a little hard because I can't exactly do it with you in the game, but I can try to walk you through it at least through voice chat or something like that. Um, once again, I am on PS5, so if you're on Xbox or PC, voice chat might be a little harder to uh, wrap our head around, but hopefully this video helps you guys. Um, like I said, you have any questions, ask down in the comment section. Thank you again to all of the uh, the new subscribers I have. You guys are awesome. I went from a mere like 213 up to I think it's like 257 now. The the support on the channel lately has been absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys are sharing the videos or if I'm just getting lucky and the actual algorithm's working. I have no idea. Um, I also want to wanted to thank um killjoy which your name is spelled a little bit different but it's basically killjoy 7 it's k1 l l 8 and then joy and the number 7 thank you for your subscription and also have tim inman thank you for your subscription as well you guys are awesome welcome to the channel hopefully you guys enjoy everything that i'm helping you guys out with um and thanks i mean 
from the bottom of my heart, guys, literally, thank you. If you guys uh, need anything, let me know down in the comment section. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys are sharing the video. If you guys want to know when I'm posting more videos, make sure that you guys are um, hitting the notification bell icon, and it will tell you when I'm posting videos. I have been trying to do them daily. Probably won't have glitches for you guys daily, but I'll do the best I can, and we'll see what we can do from there. I will see you guys in the next video.